Have you ever wondered how magicians can vomit cards? Just like that? That is super cool. Basically, all he's doing is holding the cards very tight in his hands, and then he puts it right next to his mouth when it looks like he's about to vomit and pull the cards out. Once you've made it look like the cards are in your mouth, you start just bringing them out slowly like that, and it looks like you're vomiting cards. So this magic trick is meant to look like the guy is swallowing a full sword down his throat. But when he pulls it out, he exposes himself. Look, the sword goes back in. So really, all the sword is doing is when he's putting it down his mouth, it's just getting smaller and smaller. So really, it's not even going down his neck. Or have you ever wondered how they do this trick where they flick their foot around and they can tie their own shoelaces up? The laces were always tied up. And the lace you see is really connected up through his jeans. And all he has to do is pull on the string here and the lace will go up his leg, shake his foot around and boom. This magic trick revealed is teaching us how we can make a pencil disappear into paper. So the pencil was inside the paper then boom, he crunches it up. And all he did was the pencil was just made out of black paper and then he puts like just the top of a pencil. That's all it takes. Glue it around and then boom you've got something that looks like a pencil that you can literally scrunch up into a piece of paper this what? is a funny trick you can try on your friends the straws are here and no can someone please explain this to me i'm watching this with my eyes and it changes card comment below if you know how to hit ever that works i really love this magic trick that got revealed it's where they have this cup of water and he tips it over boom somehow he can make the cup float he removes the cardboard and somehow the water is not dripping it's just floating in mid-air so all they did to do this is there's like a little hole in the side of the cup and he puts his finger over to hold pressure and then when he puts the water onto the cardboard there is actually a lid connected to the cardboard that you don't see and once the cup actually hits the cardboard that plastic lid goes over it perfectly pressure of his finger is actually keeping it together or the craziest magic trick of all time they have on television is where someone buries himself alive like this they nail him down and they actually freaking like actually bury him but somehow this man somehow gets out of all the chains the coffin and comes up but in reality the coffin actually has a hidden door that he pops out he actually has to sit on top of the coffin and they bury him like this but there's only like that much sand but still he has to hold his breath it's like he is actually under there and since there's like only that much sand he can just like dig his way out pretty easy. This magic trick is where he puts all these coins in this box and somehow he makes it pop right through the box into his hand. Like, how do you do that? It's actually very simple. The coin is actually not in the box, it's in his hand, and he's just like quickly moving his hand fast. Look like it's coming out of there, but really it's just been in his hand the whole time. Well, this is pretty cool. It's a magic trick where the guy makes it look like the card actually goes through his arm. Boom. But all you need to really do is cut out that part that would fit on your arm, have the same identical card behind it so it just looks like a normal card. And all you gotta do when you put it on your arm is pop this little part out behind, like that. Oh. That's super cool, so it just goes on like that. Guys, I'm watching this magician with my own eyes, and I still can't figure out how he does this magic. Like, what? Okay, he's got three balls now. He plays around with it. Four, like, cow! No, I'm, I'm not even joking. I'm actually confused and scared. With some weird hand stuff, and... Three? <laughs> Two? Okay, guys, if you know how this is done, I couldn't find any way how this is done, so make sure... What? I'm actually scared how this is happening. This trick is pretty cool. This is how you can put a coin through a bottle. Like that. Coin is in the bottle. There it is. Even though we can clearly see the lid is on. So how did it get through? So all you're going to do is put like a tiny coin hole underneath the label. That he quickly pushes the coin through. And once it's through, he pulls the cover down. And when he gives the bottle to people, there's no like holes or anything in it. Easy way to trick people. This trick is really crazy. He has a box full of cards. And he puts it into this little weird black box here. And he turns it over to the audience. And there's nothing in there. Like seriously, this actually blows my mind. Like where is it? Like he can even put his finger around there and tap in there. Audience sees this side of the packet but when you turn the box around it's an empty half but when he slides that deck of cards in there and look the box just fits in there perfect that's actually such a cool trick it looks like it's disappeared but really it's just the half is inside that box or have you ever wondered how these people are standing it does look pretty cool but the magic is simple it's just a pole connected into the ground that goes through their arm supporting their body and there's like a little seat so they're pretty much they're just sitting there comfortably all day magicians try and say hey i can float and they do this type of stuff right it kind of looks convincing. Like, it actually looks like they're floating. But really, to my disappointment, it's just a crane over top of them with, like, very thin wires that you can't see. This video is kind of hurting me because all the stuff I used to believe as a kid has turned out to be fake.